Uh, well, first the definition of mass percent. Mass percent is the total sample mass contributed by a particular component. So if I was to ask you what, what the um, content of water in your body was, and, I, and suppose you weigh 100 pounds and you're 70% water, then you could say that there's 70 pounds of water in your body. So because, this, because the, we know the percent composition of your body, we can, we can uh, define it down to a, an actual weight. In this case, what we have here is a molecular formula. And the question is, what percentage of propane, C3H8, is carbon, and what percent is hydrogen? Obviously, the question is by mass. What percent by mass? So first thing we have to do is find the molar mass of propane. And we find that by multiplying the, mol uh, the molecular mass of each atom by the number of atoms in the molecule. So propane has three carbon atoms and each, each of them weighs 12.011 grams per mole. It also has eight hydrogen atoms, each one weighs 1.00794 grams per mole. When you add up all those quantities, you get a molar mass of 44.09 for propane. If we want to find the percent carbon in propane, we find the mass of carbon alone, divided by the mass of the whole molecule, and you multiply by 100 to turn it into a percentage, and we get that propane is 81.71% carbon. We do the same calculation for hydrogen. The, molar the amount of hydrogen is 8 times the mass of hydrogen, 8 times 1.007. That's where we get this number, 8.06352. Again, divided by the total mass of propane, multiply by 100 to turn it into a percentage, and we get 18.29%. Now, alternatively, we could find just one of these quantities and subtract it from 100% because the rest of the molecule is made up of the other components. So if you find how much carbon you have, you can find easily what the uh, mass of the remaining component, hydrogen, is simply by subtraction. And that's what we did here. And you should get the same answer, 18.9 in both cases. So 100% of the mass of propane is given by C3 and H8. If you subtract what's contributed by the C3, what you're left with is the mass of the HA. And you can do that with any problem of mass percent. If you have three substances in the molecule, then you have to find the mass of two of the, contribu uh, two of the contributing masses, and you can find the third one by subtracting from 100%.